So believe it or not, the actual iPhone SE first generation is actually now a vintage product from Apple. Now this is something that's actually very interesting because the previous iPhone that was kind of built off this one, the iPhone 6s and 6s Plus, have already kind of been in their vintage product lineup for a little bit of time, but it's very interesting that we now have this iPhone that is now basically a vintage product from Apple. So we just want to say our condolences, or maybe not condolences, but our goodbye in a way to Apple's probably one of the best interesting iPhones they've ever made. Now, now the iPhone SE basically came out in 2016. It came out the same year as the iPhone 7. And what was so interesting about this particular phone was that it was a cheaper iPhone that was dedicated basically to be a cheap iPhone. It was a recycled iPhone like before, but it was a very interesting approach. So previously on previous iPhones Apple made, they basically went through and gave us like a, you know, kind of like a watered down version of the previous iPhone, like with the iPhone of 5C, which was kind of its own, you know, kind of, you know, breakthrough in a way. But with the iPhone SE first generation, this particular iPhone actually ended up bringing the recycled body of the iPhone 5S, which at the time was only like two or generations old, which was honestly very fascinating in and of itself. But then what Apple ended up doing was that they went through and they basically just gave us the iPhone that they normally would have given us, you know, they gave us an iPhone that had the latest internals for the most part. It had the, yeah, you know, Apple A9 chip inside, and it also had two gigabytes of RAM, which was a breakthrough at the time. And that was a very solid thing. It also gave us like a pretty decent camera at the time as well. So that right there was very, very surprising. You know, Apple didn't have to give us that type of capability, but they did. And that was something that was so cool that Apple basically gave us at that point. But beyond that, it wasn't perfect. You know, this iPhone definitely had its shortcomings and it definitely had some you know, weird issues and problems here and there. But I think Apple did a tremendous job with the first generation iPhone SE, which made me think like with the iPhone SE 2020 and iPhone SE 2023, why they didn't give us as big changes as they probably should have. But this was still a very good iPhone and I'm still a massive fan of it for sure. Would I recommend buying it in this day and age? Probably not. You know, I don't think this would be the first iPhone I'd recommend people to buy anymore, especially considering it's like a vintage product from Apple. It doesn't make any sense at all to go and purchase this device. But if you're in the market and you wanted to go and buy an iPhone that still is, you know, kind of supported, but not really, I mean, I guess you could buy this thing and maybe get away with it for like a next couple of months or a year or two. But, you know, this iPhone is very small for this day and age. It really wouldn't be giving you that, you know, good of an experience. And I would hate to recommend an iPhone to people where it's really not an, you know, in an amazing, you know, situation. So that kind of covers it up here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. The like button, that'll be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, well then.